Go follow my Twitter account. You won't regret it. I have a bunch of Madden and football related content on there. Now, let's get into the video. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and today I am going to do another Madden 24 Ultra Team video and today as you guys can see I am going to be going over all of the team, team builder cards because as you guys probably know if you guys have checked the auction house uh, any time that you've been able to play Madden 24 Ultra Team you guys know that these team builders are like they're rarely up on the auction house and if they are up on the auction house there's only a little bit of them and there's not every single card and it would take me literally a whole like 35 minute long video if i just went over every single individual uh team builder card just scrolling through the auction house so i'm not gonna go over the auction house method i'm just gonna go over the cards uh, on twitter because it's it's just way faster as you guys can see so we're gonna be going over by division and since it's on twitter we don't have to worry about it not being up on auction house we already know the stats so let's get into it and if you guys are wondering how expensive these team builders can go for they can go for like 176 200k they're kind of expensive for 85 overalls i wouldn't recommend buying them unless you have a theme team for that specific team let's get into it so the afc north as you guys can see grant delpit 84 speed 85 excel 76 tackling 83 play rec 80 pursuit 76 man 84 zone and 83 hit power and then we have 85 overall j to 74 speed 77 excel 80 block shed, 90 tackling, okay. Then we have Kendra Green, 86 strength, 84 pass blocking, 83 run blocking. I'm not gonna go over every stat for these cards because there's so many cards, so I'm just gonna go over them quick. Then we have Christian Welch, 82 speed, 84 excel, 82 hit power, 80 block shed, and 72 zone. That is it for the AFC North. Then we have the AFC South, yikes. <laughs> Quiddy Pay, 80 speed, 81 excel, 83 strength, 85 tackling, 77 block shed. Then we have 85 overall D. Ernest Johnson. Why did they make D. Ernest Johnson like the third best running back in the game? I don't know, but his card is cracked. So if I would get any uh Ricky Premier or not Ricky Premier, um team builder card, he is the best one. Uh, but it's just he's it's expensive. Yeah, it's it's too expensive. 85 speed, 86 cell, 85 trucking, 83 break tackle, 69 catching. Then we have John Mechie. Love John Mechie. Uh, 85 speed, 87 jumping, 86 short, 82 medium, 78 deep, okay. Ben Neiman, 81 speed, 80 excel, 78 hit power. That is it for the AFC South. Now, I do want to mention for you guys um, that school starts for me on Thursday. Obviously, you guys are seeing this video on Tuesday. So, on Thursday, I will have two or three pre-recorded videos on that day. But once school starts i'm not going to be able to upload that many videos every single day i'm really only going to be able to have time to upload on fridays saturdays and sundays because i won't have time during the school year which is unfortunate but i still will be uploading madden content just not during monday through thursday unless i have the day off or whatever but either way sorry can't do anything about that and uh yeah sorry 85 speed 86 excel 48 trucking dang that is that's bad for Naheem Hines. Then we have Candle Lamb. Why did they give a backup right tackle for the Dolphins? Why, guys? Why did you do the Dolphins dirty? 85 awareness, 84 pass block, 83 run block. Uh, Hunter Henry, this card is good for some reason. 83 speed, 82 short, 80 medium, 70 run block, 86 spec catch. Okay. Then we have one more card. Dwayne Brown, 84 strength, 86 awareness, 85 pass block, and 79 run block. What did they give the Jaguars? Oh, yeah, Dearness Johnson, that's right. As you guys probably know, my uh, first favorite team is the Cowboys, second Dolphins, third Jaguars, so definitely want to know what they're getting. Jonathan Cooper, 80 speed, 84 excel. Uh, he has a power rusher, which is good. Uh, 86 power move, 71 finesse move. That's a decent card right there. He just He's a one-trick pony, to be honest. Jack, I can't pronounce that last name for you guys. 82 speed, 84 excel yikes that card sucks power move finesse move it's non-existent come on haul 84 speed 84 excel why are they giving like a four string chargers cornerback i don't know he sucks at zone does not know how to play zone but he can play a little bit of man and press which is fine uh then we have natain muti there we go 87 strength 82 pass block 69 pass block finesse wow they did him dirty they did him dirty on that that is not good for you guys uh, Broncos fans then we have Kyler Gordon for the Chicago Bears 84 speed 85 excel wished it was a Justin Fields card or something whatever 84 speed 85 excel 86 agility 87 jumping 76 man 84 zone good card 
Very good card. Then we have Josh Reynolds. Why are they giving Josh Reynolds a card for Lions? I don't know, but the card is good. 82 short, 83 medium, 82 deep, 84 speed, 84 jumping. That is a good card for you Lions fans. Josh Myers, 87 strength, 84 pass block, uh, 85 run block. That's a good card. That is a good card for sure. Then we have a Caleb Evans. Again, why are they giving a fourth string cornerback for the Vikings a card? If you want to give a cornerback on the Vikings, give it to Pat Pete. If he's still on the team, I don't even know if he's on the team anymore. But 75 man, 85 zone, 85 speed. He is a speed demon. That is a good card. It's just going to be really expensive. Then we have Ulysses Gilbert the third. Okay, 83 speed, 85 excel, 85 block shed, 80 hit power, 73 zone. Okay, for the Bucks and then for the... Saints, again, I don't know who this guy is. 84 strength, 82 awareness, 85 pass block, 86 run block. You got to get it. You got to give it to Derek Carr or my man, Chris Olave. Chris Olave better get a 9-9 this year or else I am riding. LaVisca Chenault Jr., Panthers. There you guys go. 83 speed, 87 jumping, 85 catching, 84 short, 81 medium, 78 deep. Okay. Mike Hughes for the Falcons. All right. 84 speed, 85 XL. That's good. It's just the coverages, man. 75 zone and 81 man is kind of brutal on an 85 overall. He does have good press, but I mean, like once he gets off the press, the right receiver, it's just it's not looking good in zone. Uh, but he wouldn't even be pressing in zone, to be honest. Dante Fowler. Okay. I like Dante Fowler IRL. I'm glad he got a card for the Cowboys. Not mad. I maybe Mozzie Smith would have been cool, but it is okay for Dante Fowler. 83 speed, 85 excel. 69 power move that's dirty that is dirty guys 72 block shed 84 finesse it's irl he has better power move than that he probably has like 74 power move i don't know why the game's so low it's kind of messed up nakobe dean should have went to the cowboys 83 speed 83 so 84 hit power 81 zone 74 block shed okay uh rakeem nunez roaches uh 82 block shed yeah that's literally all you need to know about that card and then nick gates for the giants which he's not even on giants he's on the commanders for some reason wait but he does get double team cam uh 84 awareness 83 pass block 85 run block that is it for the nfc side now let's get into the nfc west jalen moore 85 strength 85 awareness 83 pass block 83 run block not bad Good for the Niners, even though I don't like their team. LJ Collier. This is a mid card. Bad block shed, bad finesse move, kind of low speed. He only knows how to power move, which is, I, it's it's fine. It's just not worth the price. Then we have Joey Blunt. Blount, I don't know him. He's not good in IRL, but his card in the game is really good. He has extremely good men. 85 speed, 86 cell, 85 man, 80 hit power, and 78 zone. Just don't, don't look at the pursuit. It doesn't matter. Then we have Tutu Atwell. He is, I hope, hopefully he has a good year uh, next year. Uh, 84 speed, 84 catching, 83 uh, short, 81 medium, 84 deep. I think he is short though, so that might turn you guys down on the card. But that is pretty much it for the team builders. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you guys already haven't. There's literally no point of me even showing you guys the auction house on Madden because I am looking at it right now. And literally the only cards that I see on it, I'll go over it really quickly. I only see Josh Myers, Christian Welch, Jalen Moore, Tutu, Atwell. Like, it's just, I don't see every card. Like, I don't see the Dolphins card. I don't see the Texans card, the Browns card. Like, it's just, don't, don't even worry about it. I'm glad I did not go over it on the actual auction house because I wouldn't be able to find any cards for you guys. And another thing is that these cards are super expensive. So... Unless you have a theme team or unless you're freaking bred it up and you have like over a million coins, don't buy the cards. They are too expensive. Now, if you guys do know or do want to know how to actually get these cards, just go to the sets and go all the way over to team builders, duh, team builders on the actual sets and just do the set. Now, if you guys want to know what what's the requirements for the set, literally, it just says exchange any two 82 to 83 overalls, 480 to 81s, and 7, 78 to 79 overall players to receive one 85 overall team builder fantasy pack. Your choice of any player, and obviously it's not BND, but that is pretty much it for the set. There's literally like no way to get a free one or anything like that, so there you guys go. Hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe channel if you guys haven't, and I will see you guys tomorrow with a bunch of more Madden content, and uh, you guys are definitely going to want to see it. Bye.